Today I'm going to give you 10 quick tips on how to use the creative mindfulness cards during the Christmas season. And to get a little bit into the Christmas spirit, you can see I have done some colouring in red and green. Chosen a card from the box of flowers, a card from the box of hearts, and a card from the box of butterflies. You can of course use any colour you like. I'm just using red and green today to get us into that Christmas spirit. So tip number one, you can use the cards as place settings. There's colour in the card and write the name of the person sitting at that place on the back or you can leave the card uncolored and you can have pencils on the table. When everybody's recovering from that big Christmas meal, they could sit around and color in. Tip number two, you can use the cards as Christmas cards. Just color in the card, write your message on the back and send to your family and friends. Or you could leave the card uncolored for your family and friends to color in themselves. Tip number three, use the cards as advent calendars. Choose 25 of the cards from any of the packs, mix them all around and create your own advent calendar. You can color in a card every single day. And if you're writing inspirational messages on the back, this would be a great way to start the new year by reading all of your messages. Tip number four is to use the cards as gift tags. Again, just colour in the card, write the to and from on the back. Or you can leave the card uncoloured for the person to colour in themselves. Tip number five is to buy a box of the cards for your friends for Christmas or your family. There are three sets of cards. The box of hearts, box of flowers and the box of butterflies. And each box contains 30 cards for colouring in. So do make a really lovely gift. Tip number six is to place one of the cards in with another gift. So if you've bought a little gift and you just want to enhance it, you can put in one of the cards with a couple of pencils for the person to colour in. It's just a nice little extra gift. Tip number seven. I have been told by a lot of people that these cards are really good to use in hospital and there are a lot of people in hospital over the Christmas season. And the reason that they're so good is because the size of them is quite convenient for having on the table across the bed with just a couple of pencils that makes it really easy for people to colour in. So if you're feeling like you want to give a little bit of a charity gift, you could buy a couple of the boxes and take them to your local hospital. So people who are in hospital during the Christmas season could do some colouring in. Tip number eight, create your own Christmas colouring competition. If you're having a party um, in the Christmas season, after the Christmas season, New Year, and you just want to add a little bit of fun, just have a little colouring competition with some fun prizes. Tip number nine is family bonding. You can use the cards for family bonding time, sitting around, colouring in together and just chatting, which is a really lovely thing to be doing during the Christmas season. And tip number 10 is workplace appreciation for Christmas. So if you've been working with somebody who you really appreciate, then colour in a card for them, write your message of appreciation on the back and put it together with a gift or leave it on their desk, sign your name or leave it anonymous. But just let them know that they're appreciated. It's amazing what a difference that could make to somebody's whole Christmas. And you could do that in any other context as well. So there you go, 10 tips for using your cards during the Christmas season. If you'd like to know where to purchase the cards or more information, visit almoststressfree.com and have lots of fun colouring in during the Christmas season.